The Audi A4 has always been able to strike that Goldilocks balance of style, luxury, performance, and comfort. With this 2017 model, we want to see if it's still able to maintain that Goldilocks effect, or has it uh, just gone into middle age malaise? As we're finding out on this episode of RumbleStrip.net and 10 Minute Test Drive. The timing for this review is interesting in a very esoteric way. Um, it was, as we record this six years ago yesterday, that the late David E. Davis Jr. left this mortal, mortal coil, and it reminded us of his great RS4 review when he was doing the, uh, the drive and the review in uh, California, the Target of California. You know, and that has always been a bit of a benchmark for us as far as what video car review should be. It was about the story more than it was about the car. And that's, it's such a hard thing to do. It's way harder than you can imagine, especially to talk and drive. Now that was voiceover, but okay. Uh, it was still a, a brilliantly shot piece and we'll uh, put a card up so that you can watch that. Unfortunately, because it was 10 years ago, it's in uh, 240p, so the resolution isn't the best, but you still get the point. So we won't try to top David E. I mean, there's, again, no point in doing so. But in talking about the RS4, he, uh, he talks about how great a package it is. And the A4, as we said in the open, is the same thing. Well, not in the high, not necessarily in the high performance standpoint, but it is that Goldilocks package of style, the simplicity of the style, the performance because it's good, comfort absolutely, luxury yes, entry level luxury, it's pretty much spot on, and it goes to that minimalistic sense mostly. Uh, we'll talk about the complications that Audi has brought in because of, you know, modern technology and the need for everyone to be connected to absolutely everything at all times. If we were to describe this A4 in a couple words, and this will sound funny, and if you know what we're talking about, you'll get it, and if you don't, you'll have to imagine a little bit, but... This thing glides like it's on ceramic ball bearings. Not regular ball bearings, ceramic ball bearings. And if you know what that does, you'll understand just how enjoyable this thing is. It feels effortless. I mean, yes, it's not perfect, but as you're rolling in city traffic, stop and go driving around the highway, it just feels like this glide. Like, it has this glide. And it's, you can say it, you can describe it, but it's almost one of those things you need to uh, experience to truly understand it. This has a turbocharged 4 liter. It has the 7-speed DSG in it. 252 horsepower and 273 foot-pounds of torque. And that's plenty. It's not a lot. It's not too much, but it's plenty. Uh, this is quick and more than quick enough. You will not be wanting for power. This also is equipped with stop start as hopefully you'll be able to hear it engage. The first few times, yeah, you know, you kind of get used to it. It's a thing. As soon as you lift off the brake pedal, which hopefully we'll do here in a second, the engine fires up and you drive on. Now it does, uh, there it was right there, a little bit of shake but not bad. Um, the one thing is interesting though, is if you come to a place where you're going to park and get out of the car and stop start is engaged, 
you will put the car in park, you, you put the car in park, shut the car off, and say your audio is still playing, you can get out of the car, close the door, and the audio is still going to play because the stop start is still engaged. Until you hit the lock button on the remote fob, um, you're not going to shut off the audio system, which could be a thing. One of the things that Audi are well known for is their lighting package. And in this A4, it's five star. It really is. This thing truly lights up the night. And it has the, not just adaptive headlights, but the headlights also turn with the steering wheel. More so than it seems like other vehicles we've driven recently that have it, uh, have that feature do. First time we turned into the driveway at night, we're like, wow, it's just like it's on a pivot, which is great. And it's one of those things of, you don't realize how nice it is until you pull into a driveway or somewhere where there is no lighting and you have that as you turn in. It just is really a nice, uh, nice feature. Now we do need to talk about one of the signature features of the Audi A4 and Audis as they're rolling out and that's the virtual dash. They made a big splash at CES in 2016 when they debuted it. And yes, it's really cool to see, especially when you see the nav screen um, in, the, in the full width display and you can zoom in and out. It's neat. It's a neat parlor trick. And yes, it actually is fairly functional, but as a reason to buy it, no, I would call it an included, kind of just an included bonus. Um, the question is, is it something that kind of is neat up front and then neat in the first couple of weeks, but over time you just kind of, I won't call it annoyance, but it's just it's just there. Possibly. As far as navigation in front of your eyesight versus over here, yes, there is an advantage to it, however brief. Although you're, it's, it's a matter of eyesight going up and down versus left and right. They've got engineers and scientists who study these things. I'm sure it's better. How much? hard to say. There is one thing in this Audi that does drive us batshit crazy, and it's the shifter. Now, that may seem like a minor thing, but it's because over 30 plus years of driving, you're used to, or we've become used to, how a automatic shifter works. It's park, reverse, neutral, drive, lower gears. In this Audi A4, it's oh, it's in neutral. If you wanna go in reverse, you go forward. The gears are back, which is fine. And park is actually on the shifter handle. Now, I understand sometimes you need to do things to be different, but it's one of those things of, this has worked in automatic transmissions for 70 years. It's been a thing. Don't see the reason why that needed to change. And you may think, oh, well, what's the big deal? Get in the car, go into go into reverse, and you go forward. Because, you know, you move the shifter back. Hmm, yeah. And we're not the only one to have this. We posted in a private uh, forum, automotive forum for journalists, and was not the only one to have his opinion. In fact, other people have noted that uh, general people in the public who, because you know, of all this program we've had over the years, go to go in reverse, they bring it back and then they drive into something going forward. Hmm, something to think about. So the audio system in here is good. It's a Bang & Olsen system, but it's not as good as some of the uh, higher end uh, Bang & Olsen systems that you can get in higher trim levels. This is, the uh, sort of the base model of the A4, and it's good. You know, you can obviously option this thing up to a point, um, but one of the things that we didn't think we'd say about this car is that it's really good value for money. Now, in this uh, Premier trim, uh, as opposed to Prestige and, sorry, I can't remember the other one off the top of my head, uh, the base on this is 39400 This has the Premium Plus package, which we would get on this. It just, you know, you get the 3D Bang & Olsen system, 
again, good. But there's higher levels of it that are better, but whatever. Uh, the technology package, cold weather package, absolutely. Um, you know, and destination. So this thing comes in, all in, as we're testing it, at $47,900. Not saying that's not a lot of money, because it is. But given what this is competing against in the market, it's really good value, especially for absolutely how good this vehicle is. So shopping against things like the uh, C-Class Mercedes, the uh, 3 Series BMW, Volvo V60, or sorry, uh, uh, S60, and uh, Cadillac ATS, among others, Lexus IS, you know, it's, it's really good. Yes, there is a whole thing of, you know, lug performance, or sorry, if uh, warranty work and reliability. Most people are going to be leasing these things, so it's not an issue. Some will buy it, and that will always be an issue, but in the last couple of years, Audi's gotten better. So let's wrap this thing up. Audi A4, can we recommend it? 100% absolutely brilliant vehicle. Love this thing to death. Uh, would we spend our own money on it? If we were going to be spending 50 grand on a car? Sure, absolutely. No issues with that. I think it's good, as we said, good value for money. More than fair value for money, if nothing else. It does hit that Goldilocks spot of style, performance, luxury, and comfort, and even adds value into that as well, which is not something you'd expect from luxury German manufacturers, is it? We always enjoy our time in Audis, and this A4 reminds us why. It's just a great package that even if you're not going to buy it and you're in this market, go take it for a test drive just so you can understand it.